Hello students, this is your course on Digital Marketing Basics. In this video, we are going to get an overview of digital marketing channels. Now this is an overview video because following further into this course as we will understand the various terms and strategies that are employed in digital marketing, we will have a detailed chapter in all the channels that are involved in digital marketing execution and we will be getting into each channel component specifically by learning the concept as well as applying the practical. But uh, before we get there, let's understand what exactly it is that a digital marketing channel does. Or for that matter, what exactly it is that a channel does. A channel is nothing but a medium through which a business can reach its target customer, engage them with meaningful content, provide a solution to their problem, deliver the said solution and retain them for a long term. Which means that a channel is nothing short of a digital marketing funnel that ensures that a customer flows from the market to the company website or the company platform, the store in their desired manner. Now, the very first step that a channel takes is generating exposure for the brand, exposure for the company, for its products, for its services, with the help of uh, blogs, with the help of advertisements, videos, social media, referral links, emails, or word of mouth. The idea here is that once a customer gets some kind of stimulus, some kind of exposure to what a brand is offering, what the company is offering, they might get attracted, they might get interested, and that can result in inbound queries or inbound, inbound interest into the product or service that the company intends to sell with the help of this digital channel. Once an exposure is generated successfully, a good percentage of the customers are likely to progress from this exposure stage to the discovery stage. What does it mean? Let's understand that. So let's say you have placed a social media ad on Instagram for um, electronic product that takes care of shaving needs for women. And this particular product, let's call it an epilator, is uh, positioned strategically uh, for women accounts on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, you have paid for 100,000 ad placements strategically in a given geographic area in a given age bracket or a given kind of preference accounts. Now, out of those 100,000, let's say about 10,000 users would be such who would take an interest, although all 100,000 are getting exposed to that ad, about 10,000, let's say about 10% would take an interest and would click on the, that, ad, that particular ad or if there is a call to action of learn more, they would click on that learn more link and finally land up on your website. Now, many of these users are likely to spend a few minutes to maybe um, repeat visits to learn more about your products, learn more about your services. This stage is called discovery stage because this is where the users are discovering what your value proposition is. Out of these 10,000, about 1,000 would then progress towards a consideration stage. This is where they have a potential of becoming a customer. If they want to buy something, they would probably engage your CRM. If they are interested in buying something, they may select products and add those to cart. And then about from about 1,000 of them, let's say about 500 could actually land up into being actual customers wherein they will be converted from prospects to customers or clients. This stage is called conversion. So a channel is nothing but a way in which you can lead customers from a competitive open market to become your paid paying customers. And once they have been converted into paying customers, the companies can then employ these channels to maintain a relationship with them 
uh, engage them in a continual manner, ensure that these customers are happy, are saying positive things about them, have a loop of word of mouth going, and then retain them for future business or make them come back to the organization for repeat purchase. So what are these digital marketing channels exactly that are achieving all these objectives for the organization? These could be broadly categorized into search engine, social media, email marketing, and affiliate marketing. And all these channels have a central purpose of guiding customers towards the website or the store or a unified platform where the company wants their customer to come and learn about them or finally make a purchase. Now, social media here is represented with the help of Google. It has 1 billion plus active users and this is an ongoing, in, this is an ongoing increase and about 100 billion searches happen every month on this, cha this particular channel. So it's a great way for an organization that is deploying a digital marketing campaign to start with search engine optimization, build presence on search engines, and attract crowd towards their particular platform, which could be a website. Then you have social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and even YouTube. Now, YouTube actually plays a dual role. It could be used for social engagement as well as for publishing a lot of video content, which is the more trending way of communicating with the customer for organizations these days. Then LinkedIn is a more specific uh, kind of social media wherein organizations that are making products or solutions for other organizations tend to use LinkedIn and prefer it over other platforms like Facebook and Instagram because business users or business buyers are likely to get attracted towards LinkedIn and make more prudent decisions using information that they have received on LinkedIn rather than on Snapchat or Insta or Facebook. Then you have email marketing, which is a more targeted approach for both new business as well as repeat business. Now, instead of designing a communication as just sending it out there for all and every kind of uh, customers, prospects and suspects to ac access, email marketing is specifically designed for uh, campaigns wherein you have a data set you have a database you know who your customers are you want them to come back to you again and again or you know who your prospects are and you're giving a targeted kind of message to them for better chances of conversion and then you have affiliate marketing where you utilize the uh, ecosystem of the internet the web and there are influential people available, influential uh, sources available on in this ecosystem and you want to use their expertise and their ability to engage audiences, to endorse your products, endorse your brand, talk about your products, services and solutions. So that is also one great way to again route traffic towards your website. So broadly these are the channels that are employed by digital marketers to successfully execute their digital marketing campaigns. Now next up we will be uh, discussing an overview of the digital marketing components which are critical to the success of a digital marketing campaign. Thank you.